Hello, this is Tally Andrews, and welcome to the Asia edition of TDTV. One of Japan Airlines' labor unions has voted against strikes in a row over forced retrenchment of pilots. JL had faced the prospect of industrial action after too few employees opted to accept the airline's voluntary redundancy scheme. The decision was hugely significant for JL, which averted a costly strike and ensured creditors' approval of the airline's rehabilitation plan and provision of new loans. Southeast Asian Airlines has become Tiger Airways' first partner airline in a marketing arrangement with TigerAirways.com. Using the initial fleet of two Airbus A320 aircraft leased from Tiger, Sea Air will commence jet aircraft operations next month with the seats being marketed and distributed by the Tiger Airways website. As well as boosting tourism in the Philippines, the arrangement will reduce Tiger's operating costs by having aircraft and crew based in the country. The first sea air flights under the partner program will operate between Clark and Singapore from the 16th of December 2010, and Tiger has advanced delivery of two A320s by four years as a result. In other news, Intercontinental Hotels Group will open its first luxury Intercontinental branded property in Malaysia. From February 2011, the Nikko Hotel Kuala Lumpur will be rebranded as the Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur. The 473-room hotel will undergo a 30-month refurbishment to bring it up to standard. In other news, American Airlines and Kingfisher Airlines will enter a co-share and frequent flyer partnership in 2011. The initial phase will see American place its AA code on Kingfisher's domestic flights from New Delhi and international flights from London to both New Delhi and Mumbai. Kingfisher, meanwhile, will place its IT code on American's daily direct service between New Delhi and Chicago, as well as some of American's transatlantic flights to London. The future One World partners are also considering expanding their frequent flyer agreements. And finally, in today's news, Alila Hotels and Resorts is set to make its debut in Bengaluru, the capital of India's Karnataka state. The Alila Bangalore will offer 120 rooms and suites, as well as two three-bedroom Alila residences. Other facilities will include three restaurants, a spa, event center with Lakeview Ballroom, two additional meeting rooms, a library and complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the hotel. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the Asia edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.